for the moment to seize you and you will be free everything comes back around if you only believe i feel a glow hello my name is joe and you're at the joe's hungry channel chop chunk and sauteed to perfection right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. A special Joe's Hungry shout out to Lauren Johnson. Thank you for supporting the channel. Today, we're headed over to the Krispy Kreme drive-thru to check out their new limited time offer available through March 8th, 2023. The Krispy Kreme Reese's Salty Sweet Donut Dozen. The specialty donut dozen box contains three salty sweet crunch donuts, three outrageous donuts, three salty sweet crisp donuts, and three original plain glaze. Each one of these pre-made boxes will cost you $17.49 if you buy one specialty donut at a time at Krispy Kreme, it'll cost you a whopping $2.29. If you're like me and don't want three glazed donuts in your box, just order a custom dozen and get four each of the salty sweets to make your dozen for a total of $19.09 .09 before taxes in Georgia. And be aware that prices vary from location to location. Krispy Kreme, we've taken lessons off the subway now, and because I think this is a better deal, that is exactly what I did. The salty sweet crunch donut weighing in at 390 calories is made with a shell donut filled with Reese's peanut butter cream filling, dipped in Reese's peanut butter icing, drizzled with Hershey's milk chocolate icing, topped with sea salt and praline pretzels. The outrageous donut at 300 calories is made with an original glazed donut, dipped in Hershey's milk chocolate icing, topped with mini Reese's pieces, drizzled with Reese's peanut butter sauce, and salted caramel icing. The salty sweet crisp donut piles on 410 calories and is made of an original glazed donut, dipped in Hershey's milk chocolate icing, topped with potato sticks, a drizzle of milk chocolate icing, Reese's peanut butter sauce, and a dollop of Reese's peanut butter cream filling. Before we can do the Joe's Hungry weight test and calculate their relative price per ounce, we need to head on down to Krispy Kreme in Woodstock, Georgia. I'll be with you in one moment. Sure, thank you. So we're friendly inside only. What? We're inside only. You're going to have to come inside to order. I already put an online order in. Okay, you're going to have to come inside. Okay, no biggie. Okay. Well, that's weird. I just saw three people go through line. So let's pull off to the side. Well, apparently they were being weird about me having all my cameras on my car, but uh, I talked to them about it. And now I can go back to the drive-through and get my donuts for the day. Thank you for choosing Krispy Kreme. How can I help you? I had an online order for Joe. All right, you can pull forward. All right. He has them. I've got my donuts. Uh, there's no sense in doing a temperature test. So let's head on back to the studios and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Krispy Kreme Reese's Salty Sweet Donut Box weighs in at two pounds, 1.95 ounces, or 962 grams. Break out the calculator, do the math, and you come out with about 56 cents an ounce. That's out middle of the road for fast food. I don't know how that equates to donut dollars. Now it's time for the Joey's Hungry Donut Big Reveal. This is what the salty sweet and crunch looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the outrageous donut, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is a salty sweet crisp donut, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what they look like, and they look very pretty. However, there's only one real test, the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is, bite test, engage. <laughs>
are very sweet and appear to be made fresh. They're very colorful and aesthetically pleasing. As I suspected, some of them don't employ the best flavor combinations. In a lot of ways, they're more eye candy than confection. Now it's time to give all these donuts a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and all never achieve. Five and down, is that all too familiar? Slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and score each one of these individually, starting with the salty sweet crunch donut. I don't think the peanut butter icing and the praline pretzels make a good flavor combination. In my opinion, they leave a weird aftertaste. I do like the taste of the peanut butter filling. Unfortunately, there's only a microscopic dab in the middle, so it does little to cover up the aftertaste of the praline pretzels. So I'm gonna have to give this thing a lukewarm 5.4. Number two, the salty sweet crisp donut. I was never a fan of the Krispy Kreme chocolate donut. When you put potato sticks on it, it makes a flavor combination train wreck. The potato sticks had to be put there just for looks because they do nothing for the flavor and the texture. The only thing they do well is fall in your lap when you pick the donut up. Plus, potato sticks are neither salty or crispy. If you disagree and love these things, put it in the comments below. So now it's time to give this little faux tart a score. I almost said fart. So now it's time to give this little faux tart a score. Four, seven. And number three, the Reese's Outrageous Donut. And why it's called the Outrageous Donut, it's a bit of a mystery to me. Maybe because it's in a salty and sweet donut collection and there's nothing salty about it. So at any rate, that's over my pay grade. I'll just leave it up to the donut gods to decide. This is nothing more than a plain Krispy Kreme donut dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with Reese's Pieces. That's it, nada. Yet strangely enough, it's the pick of the litter. The crunchiness of the Reese's Pieces add texture that the others lack. When I take a bite, just for a few seconds, I can actually forget this is just a Krispy Kreme chocolate donut and actually enjoy it for what it is. And what it is, 6-2. What can I say, Krispy Kreme? Is this just another marketing ploy with a little bit of upcharge action or something to send to your family that they just can't re-gift? Fortunately for us, it drops off the menu on March 8th. 2023. If you disagree with my sentiments, leave it in the comments. Until then, we will see you in the next video.